Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Which department constitutes the second line of defense? Now that's a question that can spark some serious debate. But let's dive right in. In terms of the U.S. government, the second line of defense is the Department of Homeland Security. Formed in response to the 9-11 terrorist attacks, its mission is to safeguard the United States from threats and disasters, both natural and man-made. The Department of Homeland Security is a complex web of agencies and offices, each with specific roles and responsibilities. From the Coast Guard to the Transportation Security Administration, each plays a vital part in protecting our nation. It's like a team of superheroes, each with their own special power, working together to keep us safe. But remember, it's not all about high-speed chases and dramatic rescues. A lot of their work involves planning, strategizing, and analyzing data. It's like playing chess on a national level, always thinking several moves ahead. Now don't get us wrong, the Department of Defense is still our primary line of defense, with the military forces at its core. But the Department of Homeland Security acts as a crucial backup, focusing more on domestic security. It's like having a big brother watching your back, making sure you're safe and sound. So, the next time you're wondering about the second line of defense, remember the Department of Homeland Security. They're the ones ensuring that our homeland remains secure, one day at a time. To learn more, check out these links which you can click in the description below, and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe, and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.